Why do giants fall? What turns allies into rivals? Can success truly breed conflict? In the heart of the 90s, the Chicago Bulls reigned supreme in the basketball world, a team that became the very definition of excellence, led by none other than Michael Jordan. But beneath the glittering array of championship trophies, a storm brewed between Jordan and Jerry Krause, the mastermind behind the team's construction. This tale isn't just about basketball, it's a study of what happens when ambition collides with vision, when the very forces that unite for victory also sow the seeds of dissent. Stick around as we dive deep into the rift that challenged the legacy of one of the greatest teams in NBA history. The Chicago Bulls of the 1990s were not merely a team, they were a basketball revolution. Led by the indomitable Michael Jordan, alongside Scottie Pippen and under the strategic guidance of coach Phil Jackson, the Bulls transcended the sport, achieving an almost mythic status. Their journey to six championships in eight years was marked by an unparalleled display of skill, teamwork, and determination. Yet, despite the public adulation and the accolades, a storm was brewing behind the scenes. Hidden from the public eye were the seeds of discord, sown by differing visions, egos, and desires for recognition. These internal tensions, simmering beneath the surface, set the stage for a series of conflicts that would eventually lead to the unraveling of one of the sports world's most iconic assemblies. Jerry Krause's tenure as the Bulls' general manager was characterized by a series of bold, visionary moves that would lay the foundation for the team's future success. His knack for spotting undervalued talent and making strategic decisions such as drafting Horace Grant, trading for Bill Cartwright, and most notably, bringing in Phil Jackson as head coach were pivotal in transforming the Bulls into a championship caliber team. Despite the skepticism that often met his decisions, Krause's unwavering commitment to his vision was vindicated time and again as the Bulls began their ascent to the pinnacle of NBA success. However, his contributions were frequently overshadowed by the towering presence of Jordan and the growing tensions within the team. These early successes and the underlying friction between Krause and the team's stars foreshadowed the complex dynamic that would play out in the years to come, highlighting the challenges of managing relationships within a high-stakes, high-ego environment. The introduction of the triangle offense by coach Phil Jackson marked a revolutionary change in the Bulls' approach to the game. This strategic system emphasized fluidity, spacing, and player movement, allowing the Bulls to exploit their full offensive potential. Krause's decision to hire Jackson, despite initial doubts, demonstrated his willingness to embrace innovative strategies that deviated from conventional basketball wisdom. The success of the triangle offense not only highlighted the team's on-court strengths, but also served as a testament to Krause's foresight and his ability to build a team that could execute such a sophisticated system. This period of tactical innovation was a golden era for the Bulls, as they utilized the triangle offense to dismantle opponents and cement their legacy as one of the NBA's greatest dynasties. Jerry Krause's relentless pursuit of building a championship-worthy team saw him making several strategic acquisitions that would prove instrumental in the Bulls' success. The addition of Dennis Rodman, known for his ferocious defensive play and rebounding, and Tony Kukoc, a versatile forward with a European flair, brought depth and diversity to the Bulls' roster. These moves underscored Krause's talent for identifying pieces that complemented Jordan's brilliance and Pippen's all-round game. Rodman's intensity and Kukoc's skill set were critical in the Bulls' ability to compete at the highest level, further validating Krause's vision of a well-rounded, multifaceted team. However, the process of integrating these personalities into the team was not without its challenges, as it required balancing egos, managing expectations, and fostering a culture of teamwork. Despite the Bulls' success, a rift began to develop between Michael Jordan and Jerry Krause. Jordan's insatiable desire to win and his fierce competitive nature often clashed with Krause's management decisions, particularly those related to the team's lineup and Jordan's own playing time. This growing tension between the team's star player and its general manager was more than just a clash of personalities, it was a fundamental disagreement over the direction and management of the team. Krause's approach, which emphasized the importance of strategic planning and team composition, often ran counter to Jordan's belief in the primacy of player talent and determination. As the Bulls continued to rack up victories, these differences became more pronounced, casting a shadow over the team's achievements and setting the stage for an escalating conflict that would have far-reaching consequences for the team's future. This contract dispute not only highlighted the financial challenges of managing a team of higher caliber players, but also underscored the broader issues of recognition and respect within the organization. Krause's handling of Pippen's contract situation became a focal point of criticism as many viewed it as indicative of the management's failure to adequately reward one of the team's key contributors. As the Bulls amassed victories and accolades, a power struggle began to emerge within the organization. Krause 
feeling marginalized by the overwhelming popularity of Jordan, Pippen, and Jackson, sought to assert his role in the team's success. His desire for greater recognition and influence often put him at odds with the team's on-court leaders, creating an atmosphere of division and conflict. This power struggle was not merely a battle of egos, it was a reflection of the underlying tensions between the pursuit of individual accolades and the collective goal of team success. Krause's efforts to navigate these dynamics and assert his vision for the team's future often clashed with the players' and coaches' approaches, leading to a fracturing of the one cohesive unit and setting the stage for the eventual dissolution of the Bulls' dynasty. The decision not to renew Phil Jackson's contract after the 1999 season signaled the beginning of the end for the Bulls' dynasty. This move, interpreted by many as a direct challenge to the team's cohesion and its success, marked a turning point in the organization's history. The departure of key players, coupled with the uncertainty surrounding the team's leadership, underscored the growing rift between management and the locker room. As Kraus navigated the complexities of rebuilding the team, the decisions made during this period would have lasting implications, ultimately leading to the dismantling of one of the NBA's most iconic teams. This era of transition highlighted the challenges of sustaining success in a competitive and ever-changing league, as well as the personal and professional conflicts that can arise when managing a team of high-profile athletes. The announcement that the 1998 season would be Jackson's last with the Bulls, irrespective of the team's success, delivered a devastating blow to the team's morale. For Jordan, this decision was particularly bitter, as it symbolized a disregard for the team's potential to continue its championship legacy. This moment of discord represented a critical juncture for the Bulls, as it highlighted the deep divisions between the team's management and its most influential players. The sense of betrayal felt by Jordan and his teammates underscored the extent to which the relationship between Krause and the Bulls' core had deteriorated, marking a point of no return in the saga of the team's internal conflicts. Reflecting on Jerry Krause's contribution to the Bulls, it is clear that his role in assembling one of the greatest teams in NBA history was monumental. However, his complicated relationships with key figures within the organization, particularly Jordan and Jackson, cast a shadow over his achievements. Krause's legacy is a complex tapestry of success and conflict, embodying the challenges of balancing the competing interests and egos within a professional sports team. His vision and decisions were instrumental in propelling the Bulls to the apex of NBA success, creating a dynasty that captivated fans worldwide. Yet, the discord that characterized his relationships with Jordan, Jackson, and other team members serves as a reminder of the delicate dynamics at play within the world of professional sports. As the curtain falls on the saga of rivalry and unity within the Chicago Bulls, the echoes of their legacy linger, leaving us to ponder the untold stories and what-ifs that lie in the shadow of their towering achievements. This tale of ambition, discord, and triumph transcends basketball, touching the very core of human dynamics and competition. What other secrets lie buried in the annals of sport history waiting to be unearthed? If you are intrigued by the intricate dance of power, personality, and prowess, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join us on this journey of discovery where each story is a doorway to a new realm of wonder and mystery. Stay tuned and let the adventure continue.